මෙම වැඩසටහන ඔබ වෙත ගෙන ඉන්නේ E-Soft Metro Campus ලව්‍ය දැනුමෙන් ඔබේ අනාගතය හැදගන්වයි. Welcome to IT Mastermind 2014. IT Mastermind 2014 is organized for the fourth consecutive year by the Computer Society of Sri Lanka and eSoft Metro Campus as the strategic partner and ITN as the media partner. In the beginning of this year, over 1,000 students competed in an online and written competition and the best brains in IT from schools around the country were chosen, only 108 were chosen for these preliminary rounds. Today begins the first edition of a six month long journey. You can watch on television, you can watch on ITN. We will be bringing you the competition from week to week as it progresses. Without further ado, let me invite our quiz master, the veteran journalist, the very well-known media personality in Sri Lanka, Mr. Faisal Bonzo. Thank you very much, Miru. A very good evening and a warm welcome. Well, here we are in this very special program, a prestigious program, IT Masterminds. And for me, it's an honor, privilege, and a real pleasure to have been associated with this program from the inception. Well, as Miru said, this is the fourth consecutive year that we are holding IT Masterminds. And we are in the preliminary round program, the first preliminary round program. And of course, we are at the beginning of a wonderful journey to find out the next IT Mastermind. Well, today in the preliminary round program, the first preliminary round program, we've got uh, six contestants representing schools from all over Sri Lanka and they will be facing four rounds of competition where the winner and the runner-up will proceed to the secondary rounds. Now each round will be judged and points will be allocated and added and please remember that the decision of the judges will be final as always. Miru, all yours. Thank you Faisal. To begin with, let me introduce you to our contestants this evening. Contestant number one, Mano Jayanandan, Vaddu Hindu College, Jaffna. <laughs> Contestant number two, Kushan Shamika from Mahinda College, Gol. <laughs> Contestant number three, Nipuna De Silva, Malia Deva Boys College, Kurunagala. <laughs> and on to my left, contestant number four, Tara Kamuna Singha from Pushpadana Girls College, Kandy. Contestant number five, Deepana Ishtavira from Ananda College, Colombo. And contestant number six, Binurayasas, Richmond College, Gol. Let's meet our judges for this evening. Mr. Jagat Ranavaka, fellow member, CSSL. Mr. Nishan Semakutiarachi, CEO of eSoft Metro Campus. The floor is yours. Thank you very Thank much, Miru. So on with the competition and we are in round one. Now here we will be posing a multiple choice question to each individual student where they will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Of course, the other contestants can also register their answers via their terminals and earn three points for each correct answer. And keep in mind that you lose two points for each incorrect answer. So on with the competition and all the very best to the six of you. And here's your question, contestant number one, Manoj. What does CRT stand for? Is it center reaction terminal? Is it cathode ray tube? Is it computer ray tube? Or is it complementary reaction terminal? Option B. Yes, cathode the answer tube. is correct. Here's your question now, contestant number two. Kushan, in relation to databases, what does DDL stand for? Is it double data line? Is it dual data language? Definition development language? Or data definition language? Answer A. No, the answer is incorrect. The answer is D, data definition language. Here's your question, contestant number three. That's Nipuna. In relation to RAM, what does DDR stand for? Is it dual data rate? Is it double data rate? Is it development data rate? Or is it defining data rate? Answer B, 
Double data rate. Yes, the answer is correct. <laughs> we move on to your question now, contestant number four, Taraka. In relation to storage devices, what does DVD stand for? Is it digital versatile disk? Is it dual valid disk? Is it digital valid disk? Or is it dual video disk? Answer A. Yes, the answer is correct. And here's your question now, contestant number five, Deepana. In relation to data transfer speed, what does KBPS stand for? Is it A, kilobytes per second? Is it B, kilobits per second? Is it C, kibibits per second? Or is it D, kibibytes per second? Answer B. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number six, Binura. In telecommunications, what does ISP stand for? Is it Internet Service Protocol? Is it Internet Server Protocol? Or is it Internet Service Provider? Or is it Internet Server Provider? Answer C. Yes, the answer is correct. And with that, we end all questions for round one. And let's find out who's in the lead after round one. Well, it's time to see how our contestants fare in the first round on this first episode of IT Mastermind 2014. The judge is handing me over the scorecard. Thank you very much. Um, we, have, oh, we have a tie uh, for the third place. In third place, we have two contestants. Contestant number four, Taraka Munasingha, scoring 16 points. And in third place again, we have contestant number three, Nipuna De Silva, scoring 16 points. In second place, we have contestant number five, Deepana Ishtavira, scoring 19 points. And in the lead at the end of round one, we have contestant number six, Binura Yasas, with 22 points. Over to you, Faisal. Well, thank you, Miru. Well, judging by the points allocation after round one, we see competition growing. And let's find out whether there are going to be changes in placings after round two. Well, in round two, we'll be posing a question based on an image. And you have to answer individually. You will earn 10 points for a correct answer. The others can buzz if you know the answer. And if the first student either does not answer or gives the incorrect answer, the opportunity will go to the contestant who buzzes first. And the correct answer will earn you five points, but an incorrect answer will make you lose two points. So let's move on to questions from round two. And here's your question, contestant number one. What is the social network website represented by this logo? Well, number five is indicated his willingness to answer. Instagram. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number two. What is the social network website represented by this logo? Google Plus. Yes, the answer is correct. We're now moving on to the question for contestant number three. And this is your question. What is the name of the app represented by this logo? Skype. Yes, the answer is correct. More questions coming your way, and this is for you, contestant number four, and this is round two. What is the popular website represented by this image? Wikipedia. Yes, the answer is correct. So contestants are doing well in this round. As we move on to your question, contestant number five. What is the popular communication software represented by this logo? Uh, it's uh, Hyber. Yes, it's the answer is correct. And we've got one more question in this round, and this question is to you, contestant number six. Identify the logo you see. Red Hat. Yes, the answer is correct. So we had uh, contestants doing very well in that particular round. Let's find out whether there have been changes in positions after round two.
this week's viewers question in terms of overall sales what company is number one in the smartphone market send your answers to 0725-547-547 before noon this Thursday. Let's see the scores at the end of round two. We again have a tie for the third place with contestant number four, Taraka Munasingha, scoring 26 points in the third place. And contestant number three, Nipuna De Silva, scoring 26 points. In second place, we have contestant number six, Binura Yasas, with 32 points. And leading in this round, we have contestant number five, Deepana Ishtavira, scoring 34 points. Let's begin round three. Faisal, over to you. Thank you, Muru. Well, I was right in saying that the positions will change and, of course, that competition is growing. We see a different leader after round two. As we move on to round three, in round three, we will be posing an open-ended question and you have to answer individually. And you will earn 10 points for a correct answer. Same as in round two, the others can make an attempt by using the buzzer. So here we go with questions for round three. And here's your question, contestant number one. Name the three primary colors that are used in modern color systems and computing. Blue, green, and red. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number two. What is the name given to the changing Google logo graphics on google.com? Well, number six, we'd like to answer this question. Doodle. Pardon? Doodle. Yep. Yes, okay, it's Google Doodle. Here's your question, contestant number three. Which company has the largest sales volume for smartphones? Samsung. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number four. What is the name of the famous animation company founded by Steve Jobs? Micromedia? No. Flash? No. Well, number five would like to answer this question. Uh, Hixa? Yes, the answer is correct. And uh, here's your question proper, contestant number five. What is the name of the website that became infamous for leaking US government secrets? Well, number one would like to answer this? Wikileaks. Yes, the answer is correct. Wikileaks. And here's your question, contestant number six. What is the world's most visited website? Facebook. No. Google. Yes, the answer is google.com. And with that, we end all questions for round three. Let's find out who is in the lead after three rounds of competition. This week's viewers question. In terms of overall sales, what company is number one in the smartphone market? Send your answers to 0725-547-547 before noon this Thursday. So round three ended and our judges are ready with the score sheet. Yes, the tie has been broken and the positions have changed. Now in third place, we have contestant number three, Nipuna De Silva with 36 points. In second place, we have contestant number five, Deepana Ishtavira with 39 points. And leading in this round, we have contestant number six, Binurayasas with 47 points.
For the final round, round four, I will give the floor to Faisal again. Thank you very much. Well, in our quest to find out the next IT mastermind competition, is certainly getting stiff in the very first program itself this year. And uh, as you can see, positions have been changing in every round. As we move on to the decisive round, round four, and here we use the same format as in round three, and the contestants will be answering open-ended questions, and the judges will be evaluating the answers. So all the very best to the six of you. This is the decisive round, round four, the final round. And this is your question, contestant number one. What was the code name for Intel's first microprocessor? Well, we've got number five to answer this question. Intel 4004. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question, contestant number two. Instead of lawn movers, Google uses a type of animal for maintaining their lawns. Name this type of animal. Well, no one seems to know the answer. The answer is goats. Here's your question, contestant number three. Improper use of a keyboard leads to an illness known as RSI. What does RSI stand for? Well, number five would like to answer this question. Uh, uh, RSI stands for repetitive stress injuries. Okay, the answer is correct. Let's have a round of applause. And here's your question, contestant number four. What is the name of the 3D graphics hardware company that was taken over by AMD? Adobe. Pardon? Adobe. No. Number six would like to answer this question. ATA. Yes, the answer is correct. Here's your question. Now, contestant number five. Apple iPhones have a high-resolution display, which is set to use this technology. Name it. Uh, it is named as uh, Retina uh, technology, retina technology, retina technology. Yes, the answer is correct. Retina display. And here's your question, the final question. Uh, this is for the round four, the final round. This is for you, contestant number six. What was the first feature-length movie to be made which was completely computer-generated? Well, number three would like to answer this question. Brave. No. Well, the answer is incorrect. The answer is Toy Story. And with that, we end all the questions for today's program. Let's find out who has taken the lead, who is the winner, and who is the runner-up who will move into the second round at our very first preliminary round program of IT Masterminds 2014. <laughs> At the culmination of the first edition of IT Mastermind 2014, our judges have now come up with the score sheet. Thank you very much. Let me announce uh, the, the winners um, from uh, the descending order. Contestant number two in sixth place, Kushan Shamika from Mahinda College Gol with 13 points. Contestant number one, Manoj Jayanathan from Vadu Hindu College, Jaffna with 25 points. In fourth place, we have contestant number four, Tharaka Munasinghe from Pushpadana Girls College, Kandy with 26 points. And in third place, we have contestant number three, Nipuna De Silva from Malia Deva Boys College, Kurunagala with 34 points. Before announcing the, the runner-up and the winner of this edition, I now call upon to present the awards and the cash prizes. Dr. Ajantatu Korala, Student Counselor, CSSL. 
and Mr. Upul Dasanayaka, General Manager, eSoft Metro Campus. The runner-up of this edition of IT Mastermind 2014 is contestant number six, Binura Yasas from Richmond College Gaul with 52 points. And the winner today is contestant number five, Deepana Ishtavira from Ananda College, Colombo, scoring 59 points. Congratulations Deepana and Binura for qualifying to proceed to the secondary round of IT Mastermind 2014. And that brings a close to this edition of IT Mastermind 2014. But join us next week as uh, we watch how our youth compete to clinch the coveted title IT Mastermind 2014. Have a pleasant week. Good night. Obitaginini, East of the Metro Campus, Lavia Denumin Obi Anagati Hadaganwai.